Welcome to the Alchemistic Laboratory. In this tutorial, we're going to make this helmet from the Mandalorian. I think it's a very cool thing to, to practice with. Later in Blender, you can have some materials and it should look something like this. So now let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is come to the front view, drag and drop the image, and then go to the side view and drop the other image. So now we can delete the cube grab these images, make the material maybe around 30% opacity and front only. So now we just put this image on the back and this one on the side. And now we can start by making this on the center. So the front image needs to be around here. And the side one I think the side one, the middle part should be somewhere there. So as a reference, the opposite part of the helmets should be always in the middle of this axis. This way it will solve a lot of troubles later. So now that we check that everything is okay, I suggest we start drawing the helmet. So I grab a control point curve. Now, this part of the helmet seems to be like an inset or an extrusion that was pushed in. So that's why I think it's better if I draw just a bit above the line. Something like this and then I start going down. And for example here I will draw it down the line of the helmet. And here I just need to move the points. So I should have something like this, the curvature and just a straight line down. Okay, now we do the same for the side view. So I draw a control point curve and I just go straight to this same level here. So everything seems okay. And I think if I just mirror it, it should be it should be okay so now i just need to bring this one in the middle i need to extrude it like we often do in this channel these curves we can delete and i grab the black edge the blue curve and the black edge and make a loft in g1 and there we have it i mirror it and join it so this is the basic shape of the helmet. The next thing to do, I would suggest, would be the visor. So for this, I just make a, a line somewhere around here. And just follow along the, the visor lines. Here I would just continue it down. I mirror it and I just imprint it on the helmet, like so. And these pieces, these faces, I just need to duplicate them with Shift D. I will rename them like Visor. And normally I would hide this object. So for this, I would turn off the light bulb button. So whenever I, whenever I hide or unhide things, I know that this thing will continue to be hidden. Now I grab the faces from the original sheet and delete it with Shift X. So I can just turn it on whenever I need it back. These lines, I think we don't need them anymore. So it's getting a bit of the shape. This line, I think I can also delete. What we need to do, I suggest is we come here and cut the helmet. So we just may create, we can just create a line. So something like this, cut the piece and our helmet is taking shape. Now I just need to make the cheek area of the helmet. So for this, what I need to do is just imprint a line. So I'm going to draw a control point curve. It goes around until this point at the end. I will snap it there. And then I just need to move the points around. Now that it's like this, you can just imprint it. 
and I need to have just a line down here to have the face separate. So in this case, we can draw we can draw the line from here down. Imprint it. And now we have the face. Now this face I can delete. I don't need it. And also these curvatures I also don't need. So now we have a clean object. Now the complexity of this exercise is to find out how can we make this curvature from the cheek area, how much it needs to be inside, how much it needs to be in an angle in a 3D space. This information we don't have, we could do it, we could just guess it, but I don't like to guess so much. I prefer to make it correct. So Plasticity has a tool that is very, very cool and it will help us exactly for what we need. To start using it, we just need to draw a control point curve. We need to draw it from the front view. We need to draw a line that goes to here. So I just make a point here. And now I need to be careful that this tool, in order to work, it's much better if I am not making the lines perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. They need to have a certain offset. So for example, in this case, I'm going to draw it a bit below the horizon. And then I just continue drawing until here at the edge end point. So I snap it there. And what this is going to do is that we are going to take this curvature as a, as the information for the next curve we need to draw. So in this case, I just need to be careful that these two points here, this and these are not completely vertical. So I think the curve is good and I just need to go to the side view. And in this case, I have already this line as a guide. So what I need to do is draw another control point curve. And at the opposite point, the curve end, I'm going to press shift. And this guide line, I'm going to use it to, co to put the first point here, snapping on the edge. Now it's exactly the same rules. Don't make it horizontal, just come a bit down and just continue drawing. And here it's easier. You can just snap it at the end, just accommodate the curves. Okay, it seems to be good. So now we have two curvatures, which both are flat, as you see. But in this case, Plasticity has this super cool tool. You just look it, it's project curve to curve. So this tool, I already have a, a shortcut. It's going to give us exactly the line that we need in the, in the 3D space that we require. And it's going to match perfectly on the front and perfectly on the side. So for this, it is excellent. You can use it on almost any model you want. And so we can already delete the first two lines with it. And this one, we cannot move. This is a line that we cannot manipulate anymore unless you grab it. And down here on the right side, you will see that it's rebuild. The rebuild button will allow us to convert this line into a movable object. So I will select the number of points that this curve needs to have or needs to be rebuilt with. And I just need to be careful which line, which number of points are enough for it to not lose the shape. So I think in this case, four points is good enough. And I just need to make sure that this point is now snapping to the end. So you see that now I can manipulate the curve after the rebuild. So that's what we need. That is exactly what we used in the previous tutorial of the Judge Dread helmet. And now we can just come and draw another line from here to here and another line from here to here. This one we can also draw here. So now we have the information we need and it's super easy to do. Great, so now we just grab these curves we made and make a patch. G0 is perfect. And now you can just grab this and this 
loft. So we grab this face and this sheet and join them. Now, if it's not joining, you can press Q and Q. And now it should be merged. So, and now from here, we can just hide these blue lines. Maybe we can also delete them. We don't need them anymore. And from here to here, we can make a loft. G0 is not working. So what you can do is draw a line from this end point to this edge and make a patch. Now it should work. Perfect. So this line we can delete. So now, as you see, we have our Mandalorian helmet. Very, very simple to do. We can also grab and delete the redundant topology. Perfect. So now the next thing to do would be to divide it in half, grab this part and just mirror it and join it. So now we have our super cool helmet. Okay, so now the next complication would be to make it a solid. So if everything was correct, we just make thicken and thicken the helmet. I think around so is good enough. I think I like it. Now we check. There is a, a little mistake here. And also on the side, these extra parts. So there is no trouble here. We can just grab a line that cuts through this mess. So we just delete it, delete the curve, and we saw it as well on the front side. So we just grab a line from here and delete. So now it's perfect. Now this part we can also fix, try to fix. So it's just a matter of drawing a line from here to here. Or maybe if I just make here an X, delete it. And then I grab this line, cut this object, grab this piece. Okay, this somehow fixed the problem. And this is a detail that probably shouldn't be so important. So I will leave it like this. So what we can do is now cut the object and delete the curves that we don't need, boolean it, and we have our helmet in solid. Now this is super, super cool. So the next thing to do would be we can, draw, we can draw the earpiece, so how can we do it? I suggest we grab here three point arc and we can just make a line from here to this other point and move the curvature up. Okay, perfect. So now we can just grab one line and draw the rest of this piece. Grab this, join it. If one curve you have and it's still not with this blue paper thing here, you just need to scale it. Here I just put zero and now it should work. So this part I can just come and extrude it. This thing we can delete and grab the object and just put it somewhere here. Something like this. Perfect. Okay, so what else can we do? We need to make this part. So we can do basically the same thing. We can draw a line from here to here. And then another three point arc here. And we can just draw some lines and another line here. Okay, so now we imprint this object to the ear part. We just push it inside and that's how it's done. So now this area, 
So exactly the same, three point arc. Uh, something there. And one line. So. We imprint this piece and extrude it out. Okay. So now these curvatures we can delete. And we have our piece. Okay, so what else can we do next? Mm, I suppose we need to do now this side area. So I suggest we just grab a line. And another line here. We imprint it. And we craft a face, but in this case there is no single face, so I just need to come and draw one single line here. Imprint it. So now I have this face. Now I can extrude this part. Or actually, instead of extruding it, because otherwise it's going to be a single object, what if we make a thicken? This will separate this extrusion and make its own object. So, there we have it. So, as you see, it's a, sing it's a different piece. We didn't have to cut anything. We craft these two edges because we need to make a hard fillet. And just fill it based on the side view. So, it's really, really inside. But it's wrong. So, what we need to do is now manipulate this white circle. So, we twist it around. Uh, maybe something like this. Yeah, it's good enough. And accept. So now we have our side piece. We can grab these objects, mirror them. And now our helmet, it does really look like the Mandalorian. Okay, what else we need to do? I suggest we start either with the Mohawk or this piece. So let's draw a line, a straight line that goes all the way. We imprint it and now we can also start drawing the mohawk piece. So I'm going to come with a line around here and mirror it, grab these pieces and print them. Here we can also draw something like this and imprint it. So we can basically do the same thing. So I'm going to come and grab these faces, also these ones, just to be sure. And I press F thicken and let's see how it looks. So once we have this piece of the helmet, you see it's also separate because we made a thicken. We can just come and graph this line and this line. And because here is at tangent edges, we don't need to select everything. We can just make a hard fillet. Now just make sure that you are on the, th you are not uh, way, way far like this. This is not correct. So just give a bit of space. For example, here it should be on the reference image, just yeah, something like this. And what we need to do now is again, manipulate this white circle. So depends how it's on the front view, something like this and accept. So now we have this piece. What I, we need to do is we craft this object and we need to make it match this part in the front. So for this, we can just craft the faces. This is one way to do it. So let's try to craft these faces and move them up like this. And now we craft this edge and this edge and just make it around so. To make this part is maybe it's a bit more complicated. Okay, so one thing that occurs me to do is to draw with curves or straight lines actually, here, 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 and this. So where it's going to the end, I'm going to snap it to this edge 
then another line to here and straight to the middle point. Then I just duplicate it. So I have this shape now. I imprint it and I am going to do the same for here and mirror it. Imprint it again. So now we just need to delete some faces. So we can start, for example, on the side view. It's not so visible, but there is this line that cuts this mohawk. I'm going to maybe exaggerate it a bit more. Okay, so I grab this, cut the piece, and so now we have this part. Now it's time to delete some faces. So I'm going to delete these faces. This curve I don't need. Delete. This line probably I also don't need. Okay, so what we can do now, this line delete. Okay, so what we can do now is just connect some lines and then make some loves. So one line here, one line here. So from here to here, loft. Or maybe we can just patch it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's patched. Now this, uh, this face I can delete, this one too. These curves we can delete. Then from here to here, loft, G0. From here to here, loft again. We join these pieces. These to here, join. Patch. And patch. Delete redundant topology. Now it's still not a solid, so probably the trouble is here. So I delete these faces, patch this hole. Mm. Somehow it's still not a solid. Okay, now it's a solid. So basically I had to patch it, check if it's if it's something that could probably cause a trouble, then I deleted some faces again, patch it again, and so on until it was a solid. Probably there was some overlapping edges and that didn't make the solid. So now we have this piece on the front. We have the ears, we have the side piece. Ah, we have to make this and this, we grab it. We just need to push it inside, something like this. And what else is missing? This would be the piece that is missing here. So this front little boolean. Okay, so I think this shouldn't be so much trouble. So I'm going to draw a line in the center. So in the center of this gap. something like this, imprint it, and I'm just going to graph until this part here, until the half, and I'm going to draw uh -huh. it's it's faster, it's better it's better if I hide the object so I just graph this section make a pipe, so let's say around 2 centimeters Mm, yeah, it seems that two centimeters is exactly. Now I can boolean it and hide the mohawk. Okay, now this part, I don't like it. It's making a bit troubles, this space. Here what I can do is maybe press Shift D and then I just need to maybe make a line from here to here. Dispatch it. Do the same thing on the other side. Patch it here, and then we just make this part, patch it, it's also a solid, correct, maybe I can also boolean together with this one, and there we have it, there is no gap anymore. Okay, now we have our super cool Mandalorian helmet, it seems okay, it matches perfect, and it matches perfect. Mm. Here there is something missing, 
should be like a, a box, I think. Okay, so let's draw a straight line. Mm, so, I'm going to imprint it. And now we have the information which would be this face. Uh -huh. And from here we can just... Um, so I'm duplicating the sheet, duplicating it again. This we can just cut. So I'm going to grab these lines and these lines from both sheets. Love them. And we grab these lines, join them, and now they are a solid. And now we can just come and cut this part. And this one, I think it shouldn't be like this. So I just make it so. I don't know how it is in the back, but I think it's something like um, so according to this model there is like a cube and it calls this venting I don't know what it is so let's try to do it so let's draw some lines I'm just going to make it a bit faster so I'm going to draw a line mirror it Draw a line here to here and imprint everything. This we just push back, not so much, something like this. This we can delete and there is some sort of objects that are somehow like this. Okay, so this piece we grab and we can just come here, rotate it a bit, push it in, and we can just make a rectangular array. Up. Maybe some more numbers. Okay, like this. This we just boolean it hide everything and this is not good so I am just going to cut the object so I'm going to grab the line from here cut this object okay now we have it all the curves we can now delete and we finally finish our Mandalorian helmet it was quite the exercise, but I'm happy with the result. So let's delete redundant topology and move to Blender. Okay, now we're in Blender. We can just grab this object, delete it, make the connection to plasticity. And our helmet is looking super nice. We just need to turn on the visor. And the visor we need to cut. And maybe have some thickened. This face I'm going to push just a bit. There we go. Now it is good. Okay, so for some materials, we just make the basic. Now the render is finished, we can see the result, it looks really, really nice. I'm quite happy with the modeling result. Now there are some things we can improve in the render, some details, some imperfections in the helmet, scratches, maybe a bit of bump somewhere, but in general, I'm quite happy. And remember, if you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. This helps me and motivates me. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I think we can say now, ex luto ad aurum. Until next time. Thank you.